Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a brand new Pixel 2 launcher that's available for pretty much any Android device. Now unfortunately it's not available on the Play Store, however I'm going to have the APK link in the description down below, so let's take a look. And to be honest guys, this is going to be a pretty short video, just for the fact that the launcher itself doesn't necessarily have too many features, but that's one of my favourite things about it. So as you can see straight off the bat, you've got your at a glance feature from the Pixel 2, your Google search bar down the bottom, and then you can swipe up to get to your application drawer, scroll through like normal, and you'll get your most frequently used applications at the top there, and then you can just scroll away to get rid of it. So, so far, pretty simple. A long press on the home screen is going to get to your standard wallpapers, widgets and also your home settings and like I say they're pretty bare bones in terms of what you've got. You've got notification dots on or off to let you know when an application has a notification at a glance. You've got the at a glance feature that I mentioned beforehand in terms of the weather, the dates and any upcoming calendar events and you've also got the Google app to the side of the home screen as well. So for me if I swipe over from left to right it's going to take me to Google now to get all the information that I would normally get. Now this is normally an addition to something like Nova Launcher, so to have it baked straight into the launcher itself is a really good addition. You can also turn on or off the app suggestions, so at the top of your app drawer, if I just turn that off real quick, when I go back to my home screen, it's then going to just start alphabetically at the top there, whereas if you have that turned on, it's going to give you some suggested apps based on what you use on a regular basis. So now when I go back into my app drawer and swipe up, you can see here that it's got some applications that it thinks I use based on my using habits. You can also allow or disallow home screen rotation, so if I turn this on and then rotate my device 90 degrees, you can see there that it rotates the home screen as well, so if you do need to do anything in landscape then you've got the option to do so, but for me I never really use that feature so I always keep it turned off, because if you do move your home screen around then it may switch from portrait to landscape when you don't necessarily want it to. You've also got the option as well of having an icon pack installed and put on there as well, so if you want to have your own custom icons installed and you want to use those instead of your stock icons, then you've got the option to do so. Now much like the stock launcher on the Google Pixel 2, when you go into your application drawer it does also change the style of the app drawer based on your wallpaper. So as you can see at the moment I've got quite a bright wallpaper at the moment, so when I go into my application drawer it's going to have a nice white background. However if I go in and change the wallpaper just down here, go into my photos and pick a dark one for example like this one, once I then go ahead and set that as my wallpaper you're going to see that it's going to change the colour of the app drawer. So once everything gets set and I go home and go back into my application drawer, you can then see that it's got a dark theme to it, which is really nice that it goes along with any wallpaper that you're using at any one time. And that's pretty much going to do it guys for this video. Now like I mentioned, the application itself is extremely bare bones, but I kind of think that's the point. Unlike something like Nova Launcher or Action Launcher, you're not really expected to do a lot of custom features and change a load of things in terms of the actual launcher itself, it's meant to replicate exactly what you're going to be getting with stock Android and I think it does that better than any launcher that I've tried. Now I mentioned in the intro that it's not currently available on the Play Store, but it is going to be linked in the description down below and once you get onto the website just pick the newest version which will always be at the top. And if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and if you've got any questions about this launcher or anything else here on the channel let me know in the comments section down below or on twitter at copper vs glass. Also don't forget to follow me on other social networks like facebook and instagram and they're also going to be linked in the description down below. For more great content moving forward don't forget to subscribe. I'm Michael from copper vs glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.